Whoa! <laughs> we are ready for another experiment. <laughs> and this time I bought the GoPro Max, which I'm going to hand carry the way around when we are testing the Mini 3 Pro through the same obstacle route that I took the Mini 4 Pro. Let's just plug it in here and let, let's get going here. Start the video. Slightly underexposed, 4K 30fps. We press go. We are heading off into the wild to see what's going on here. And I'm trying to walk in a little bit of a rapid pace here. So I'm really sorry with I'm out of breath. <laughs> so it dodges that one very nicely. Maybe I should turn down the gimbal a little bit. So let's go down to this section here and uh, do what we did last time, put it in front of us and see if it actually managed to track that way as well. I think it was approximately in this position. So, see if we can make it do it. Ah, no side protection. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Let's get it down in, in altitude. So, minimum altitude. So, we let it stay like this. Maybe a little bit low. Like this. And here we go. So, oh, there's some trees over there. Let's just wait a second. Maybe I should help it a little bit here. So I will help it a little bit here. So I get it in the sort of the middle of the path here. It's just one me in the center here. Yeah, I'm pretty camera centric. <laughs> so now it's going up there. What is it doing up there? And <laughs> now it's coming down again. So, let's get it out here. Ooh. So, there. Even though that it says it's minimum altitude, it's still there. So, ooh, big tree. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're back to the playground where we went through the last time. So, uh, whoa! <laughs> I was kind of lucky there, no doubt about that. So let's see if it can follow me from behind. Yeah, let's just position it. Better be safe than sorry and do like a fresh track here, like this. Active track, go. So, let's see if it managed to go through this. So far, so good. <laughs> Just again, the gimbal tends to swipe up a bit. So see, it still follows along very nicely. So let's just stop it here and then go to the side here. So let's go and let, let us test parallel tracking. So me, active track, parallel, go. And because there's no side sensors on the drone, we need to be very careful about the bushes down there. So we will stop it right before it gets to those. <laughs> so, hold it! 
And then we can get it back here. So it tracks me from behind. While we still have battery, uh, active track, trace go. So see if it can figure this one out. This was uh, where the Mini 4 Pro actually nicked the branch when we went through this uh, path. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll make sure to leave a link up here somewhere. <laughs> so, this was the point where we ran into problems. I think it was the branch up there that it nicked. It was still airborne after it happened. So, but this one just tags along. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back to the starting position if you have watched the original mini 4 pro video that i did um, testing uh, sort of the drone in this route. Let me know how you think that the Mini 3 Pro actually did compare to that one. Of course, having a side sensor is uh, nice to have, very, very nice. Especially when you're doing stuff like I'm doing right now, where the drone is uh, doing a point of interest around me, because there's actually nothing that will protect it uh, if it slams into something on the side. Apart from that, as uh, DJI drones tend to always fall behind when you track, if they uh, sort of have a little problem uh, keeping up, they always tend to go to behind and track from behind. And in that case, you would get an equally good tracking experience with the, yeah, the Mini 3 Pro as you did with the Mini 4 Pro. You will not have the Active Track 360 that will allow you to seamlessly navigate different camera moves, but is that enough to justify the upgrade? Yeah, that's up to you. And right now I need to stop this. <laughs> exactly my point with the side sensors. <laughs> Let me just show you. But, <laughs> but it's doing a really, really good job. If you want to watch uh, the videos that I've done with the Mini 4 Pro and see if there's other compelling reasons for you to get it, I'll make sure to yeah, leave the playlist with all the videos that I've made about the Mini 4 Pro available through this card. Thank you for watching and I will end now. <laughs> so, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.